What's going on, Assassins? It's Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin, and there is some exciting news, but it's also kind of startling. So, a tweet went out from uh, the Assassin's Creed Twitter page in which they said that they were looking into bringing 60 FPS to Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, that would be absolutely incredible. Origins still does have a massive fan base. A lot of people really do enjoy it. They enjoy, you know, just playing it and going through it. I've said several times I would love to do a playthrough of this in 60 FPS, just the same way that they did Odyssey in 60 FPS. Now, what does that mean? Well, let me show you. I actually did a comparison video for Assassin's Creed Odyssey in which I showed prior to the 60 FPS and after the 60 FPS. And as you can see, it's cooler than the other side of the pillow. It just looks absolutely amazing. It runs smoother, it runs better, load times are quicker. It's absolutely amazing. So for this to be coming to Origins is going to be absolutely outstanding. Now, one of the things that I want to know about is what does that mean for the future of Origins? It looks like they are able to revitalize their game based on the fact that Cassandra is immortal. So I don't want to get into a debate over whether or not Alexios or Cassandra is the Eagle Bearer. Canonically, Cassandra is the Eagle Bearer, so that's why I'm going to repeatedly talk about Cassandra for this video. All right, I, I do respect and understand the feelings and emotions that certain people have over the fact that, you know, they chose Alexios and why isn't the Eagle Bearer Alexios? But... I'm just going with the canon choice. So please, by all means, forgive me. Anyway, Cassandra right now has the ability to be placed in any Assassin's Creed video game if you think about it. They can easily, easily create a DLC or an event or some free add-on to any game that we have right now. It is possible. It is possible for any game that we have right now with our current technology for us to like decide to add another dlc they're planning on doing that for the witcher 3 they're planning on giving that last gen game an fps upgrade and giving it a bunch of dlcs it can be done easily i'm telling you now do we want that to be done do we want to see Cassandra in Assassin's Creed Origins? They kind of alluded to it. Do we want to see it? And if we do see it there, what would the story be? And even further than that, do we want to see her in other Assassin's Creed games? Is this something that we're going to do as a standard? Are we going to see games going forward with Cassandra in them? when we go into the past or was this just a couple game deal and that's it for like this trilogy for origins odyssey and valhalla i mean i don't mind seeing her in origins especially since she has some relation to aya i would love to see something along those lines i don't want it to get too kind of complex and you know, like out of focus where it makes no sense as to why, again, Cassandra was friends with the Hidden Ones, but never became a Hidden One or something, you know, like it just, it, it, it kind of messes with the story. I just don't want it to be retconned. We've already seen retcons before. We've seen retcons in Assassin's Creed 2 and Ezio's basement at his villa. We had Darius down there who was an assassin and had the hidden blade and it was the first time you see the hidden blade. And then we go into Odyssey and Darius is just some dude who just had some really cool blade. Doesn't explain how they got the blade, doesn't explain if Darius joined them or anything like that. It is what it is. But I don't want to see any retconning. I don't want to see anything getting out of hand i'm loving the idea of 60 fps 
But where do we go from there? But let me know what are your thoughts. Do you think that the 60 FPS is possible, that they're just teasing us with that, and they're absolutely going to do it? Do you think that they're going to have problems doing it with Origins? Or do you think that this is a done deal, it's absolutely happening? What do you think, technically, of everything that's going on? Do you think that they'll put Cassandra in a free DLC, a crossover event, like they did for Valhalla and for Assassin's Creed Odyssey? Or do you think that that's going to be off the table? Would you want to see something like that? Or are you thinking that it really wouldn't make any sense, it would kind of retcon the story, or even just ruin it all together. And what do you think about them putting DLC in past games? Do you think that that's a good idea? Do you think other game developers should do that? Do you think that like, you know, one day you would love to see like a, a Bioshock DLC or, you know, any past game that you enjoyed playing that would bring you back to the game? Do you think that that's a money-making scheme? Do you think that that's possible? Do you think that you know, it, it just cheapens the game. The game had its run, it had its course, it shouldn't be back. I'd love to hear from you. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe, it helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one, but before we do the Yayit, I have a favor to ask you. Check this out. What's going on, Assassins? Are you aware I have a retro channel? It's a bunch of games that I play that may be from your childhood, or if you're too old to be part of the original NES era and stuff like that, it's just a bunch of nostalgia and letting you know where your roots are from all the current video games. I play them all. Also, coming soon, I have a dark kind of channel in which I play a bunch of scary type games. Not just play them, but I will also be visiting a lot of haunted areas in New York and telling you stories based on not just video games, but real life situations that have occurred that are scary. All kinds of things, the most accurate information just to creep you out. Are you ready for it? I'll put links in the description below. Yeah, <laughs> yeah.